everybody, I'm Dawn, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to try Mrs. Crocombe's steamed chocolate pudding from English Heritage. So I will link that video down below in the description. It's just something I've always wanted to try ever since I saw that video and today is the day. So we'll see what happens. So let me show you what you need for it. And it's not gonna be anywhere near as fancy and delicate as she describes it. We need chocolate, I just got chocolate chips like I think these are semi-sweet because I didn't want to get unsweet and be wrong but I didn't want to get sweetened and be even more wrong so I got semi-sweet so we'll just see what happens and then you need a cloth a nice clean cloth this is cheesecloth or flour sack cloth then you're gonna need three eggs you need some butter I got butter right there and um, you need a vessel to cook it in or to steam it in. And I couldn't find one that was big enough. And I got these little popcorn containers and I just got two of them. So I'll be making two of them. And then you need caster sugar. I didn't find anything called caster sugar. So I just got granulated sugar. All right, so let's get started. So you need, you need a uh, half a pint of milk also. Did I mention the breadcrumbs? You need plain breadcrumbs also and some twine to tie your cloth around the vessel. Okay, so first you're going to melt the chocolate and butter together. Okay, now that it's all melted, you're going to add your breadcrumbs, plain breadcrumbs, and then your milk. And then Mrs. Crocombe says you heat it together and stir it until it's quite thick. So I'm just going to assume that's until everything's well incorporated and like kind of thick. And this is my favorite way to separate them. Just make sure your hands are clean. Okay. okay, so then you take your yolks, that's three egg yolks, and then your sugar, which is just a little bit more, it's like 120 grams, so that's a little bit more than a half a cup, and then you whisk it while it cooks together. Then we're adding the chalk adding the eggs to the chocolate mix, which we took off the heat. Uh, Mrs. Crocombe puts it all in a separate mixing bowl. I'm not doing that. And then you mix it together. And then the next step will be whisking your eggs until you have a foam. So you're not whisking to a meringue, you're just whisking some air into it to make it foamy. Gently fold it in slight turns. Good. All right, then you're going to pour it in your thing like that. I don't have quite enough for two of them, but we'll just make the one. And then you're going to then you have to take a piece of parchment. She used brown paper. I don't have brown paper. And put that on there. And then you take your cooking cloth. And wrap it around here. And you tie it with a piece of cooking twine. Which of everything in this, cooking twine was the only thing I didn't have to buy at the store. Cooking cook twine was the only thing I had in the house. You, gotta, you wanna tie that around there really, really tight. And then Mrs. Crocombe makes a little 
handle with it. And then you want to put it in a pot of boiling water to about halfway up the side. And I think that might be a little more than I need. And then you just cover it. Okay. Okay. So this has been going for an hour. So we're ready to take it out, I think. And hopefully this worked out. So we're just gonna let that cool off. Okay, so we're gonna, well, I tied that tight. We're gonna cut and twine. And peel the paper off. It smells really good. Oh look, I boiled it with the, oh my God. Oh, almost, almost perfect. Look at it, <laughs> I made it. Now you could cool it all away and serve it chilled or you can serve it warm with like a icing or like a, I would do sweetened condensed milk, but look, I did it Marshall, I did it. I made Mrs. Crowcomb's pudding, woo woo. Good job.